In this video, we will demonstrate how to hide and unhide uh, the placeholder object from the workspace and also from the uh, printout of the ePlan project, as it is unnecessary uh, to the customer to see this uh, element uh, in the printout and also uh, for the designer himself uh, might be uh, unnecessary for him to see the placeholder uh, object again. Uh, to do so, we uh, will go to the properties of the placeholder object through a uh, double click uh, on this uh, object and from the display tab we will find the invisible uh, property and from this uh, icon we can we know that uh, it takes this value from the layer where uh, this uh, object belong belongs to so now we need to change the settings of the placeholder object uh, layer uh, to do so, we will go to the Options menu, and from there we will select the Layer Management. And now we have two categories for uh, the layers of the placeholder object. The first one is the Property Placement. From there, we will select uh, the placeholder object layer. And then we will go to the settings of the Visibility and also uh, uh, print as shown here so we will deselect both visible and print and then click ok and the next category is a symbol graphic from there we will find uh, the macro and then from the macro, we can also find the placeholder object as a macro, and we will also deselect uh, visible and print settings. And now click OK. And now we are done from the settings for, of the uh, placeholder object layer, and we have to test how uh, uh, the height and unhide of these uh, uh, placeholder objects. To do so, we will go to the view. And then invisible elements, as you can see here, we can hide and unhide the placeholder objects uh, so easily. Thank you.